Welcome back to Pretty Creative Stuff. Today, we are getting ready for Molly's sixth birthday party. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a unicorn party. Six, I'm gonna turn six, six, six. It's an art party. It's not, no one's riding a unicorn or anything like that. We're gonna be doing art. I have canvases and everything, but before we show you everything that we bought for the party, we have to get our living room ready. Then we will start hanging up backdrops and balloons and all of that, and I'll show you everything that we bought. And then we're also gonna do party favors, food, all of that. So there's a lot to come, keep watching. All right, so let's show you what the living room looks like now, and then we'll show you what it looks like once we get it set up and the furniture arranged for the party. All right, so here's what our living room looks like now. We still have some decorations up from the puppy's birthday. Yeah, which I can keep this. And the Lego doodle. We'll move all of this. But even things that we would normally have as decorations, like pictures, we're gonna move all of that so that everything is just ready to decorate. We're gonna have the dogs upstairs during our during the party. This is our nugget. We have a couple videos about how to arrange the nugget couch. We'll be back when the room looks a lot different. All right, so we're back. We have removed a lot of things from our living room. Molly's ready to go in the pool because we're gonna take a break and we'll decorate tomorrow. But first, we kind of made this place a blank canvas. We rolled up the rug. We got out some picnic tables that we bought a couple years ago. These were from Lowe's. I think the brand is Lifetime um, and they're collapsible. So as you can see, we can just fold them up and put them against the wall, which is how they are right now. I'll show you what they look like when they're set up. They're just great. They're like really heavy duty plastic. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna show you how you put these together. So they were flat as you saw, and now you just push out the legs. And I'm helping my dad, which is right there. That's mm -hmm. my dad. And then Say this, hi, dad. You need to lock Absolutely. this in place. Yep. And then flip it over. And this is not sponsored. Something here. No, this is not sponsored. We, uh, this is just an awesome. We just wanted to show awesome you how this works because we do not regret this purchase at all. We've used This will be our third party that we've used it for, and I'm sure we'll use it for many more. If you've seen our Lego birthday party and our Alice cupcake decorating birthday party videos, these are the same tables we used at those parties. And these are just, these are just like super cool tables. There we go. Yeah, so there, there that place. bench is in place, and then we just need to, put, take your hand out. Walter, that might drop, and that's not gonna drop. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's a little lock right here. Push it in, push it down. Make sure you don't hit your fingers. And then, and then there you go. It's a normal size picnic table. You can use these outside. It has I a spot. Sit on it, so it has a spot for an umbrella, table. but we're using them inside. Yep. We don't need no umbrella. We have a roof. Yeah, we, we have a roof. We don't need an umbrella. I'm I'm counting on having eight kids at each table. Okay. Um, you could probably fit more. We'll be back. Walter is moving the couch all by himself. We've talked about rearranging the furniture in our living room for a while, and we think maybe Molly's party is a good excuse. This is a sectional from Love Sack. So really all of these pieces come apart and they're all washable. So we could just take it apart piece by piece, but we're gonna keep it in the same configuration. So we're just, Walter, by we I mean Walter, is pushing the whole thing by himself because he doesn't want me to help him. He wants to do it all by himself. Walter's awesome. He is a very, very good helper. Okay, Molly's turn. Molly's gonna push the couch into place. See? We want it in the corner. At this point, we have moved every piece of furniture in our living room, and mainly that means Walter has moved every piece of furniture in our living room, but Walter and I worked together, and even Molly helped, and we did something crazy, and we moved our heavy plasma That's TV. probably like 500 pounds. It was over here, and I was really scared to move it, but we used this picnic table. We pushed it. We, for we forgot to record it. It was crazy. It would have been like really interesting to watch, I think, because we were scared. The TV was on this stand right here. It was up against the wall here, and we decided let's put it on this wall. But we were having trouble moving it, and thought we want the TV over here anyway, so let's just go ahead and move the TV first. That way we can push this without worrying about the TV falling. So we had the idea of we move this picnic table all the way up to this stand and kind of just like pushed it over. And then we pushed the picnic table, because it's really easy to move. It's so simple. All the way over here. And the hardest part was lifting it onto this stand. But we did it. Not the A 10 year old boy and his mom and his five year old sister holding all the 
records. We did it! Mom was basically just monitoring TV on it, making sure that with my incredible strength. Walter is really good at pushing off. things. Yeah. I I'm good at pushing. I'm horrible at pulling. I was like, let's wait till your dad gets home. And Walter's like, no, we can do it, Mom. Let's do it. So and then like, here we are. We did it. So we're gonna finish rearranging the picnic tables, which was really the ultimate goal to begin with, anyway. And then we're gonna get the decorations out and show you what we got. All right. We have finally finished arranging the picnic tables and we are ready to open up everything that we got for the party. I'm not gonna open up party favor stuff yet. We'll do that either later today or tomorrow. Right now we're mainly opening up decorations and some of the party activities like art stuff. This is going to be a rainbow unicorn kind of themed art party. So it's not like riding unicorns party, it's doing unicorn art. A lot of this stuff I got from Amazon. Be sure to check the description box for a link to my Amazon storefront where I will make a list of all of the party supplies I got from there. So be sure to check the description box. Yeah. I bought these canvas boards that are pre-printed with pictures of unicorns on them. So every kid can paint a unicorn. All right, well, Molly's opening that up and we'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna show you what we got to use to paint them because we're having this inside our house and I'm a little bit worried about like a dozen kids with paintbrushes. I think we have 13 kids coming plus my kids. So that's 15 kids with paintbrushes. That just makes me a little bit nervous about paint. So instead of actual paint brushes and loose things of paint, I got these paint pens. It's acrylic paint inside markers so it's kind of like a marker they have got really good reviews and it also comes inside this um container that has like rainbows on it and stuff so look at that okay so i actually ordered three of these sets each one comes with 48 markers 48 but um they have acrylic paint in them so it's a paint pen so it's kind of like a marker and it should be easier for the kids to use so they can get the pictures just the way they want it and less messy for me because it's markers, not like paint brushes and little tubes of paint. So we're gonna do that. And I also thought like these containers kind of fit the theme of the party. I got three packages, but we may not use them all. One thing I love about Amazon is returns are really easy. So with the party really close, I got to the point where it was like, just order extra, you can always return it. I'm a Prime member, so I always make sure it says, free returns with Prime. All right, so we're getting the canvases open. They were packaged really, really well. It's these canvas boards. On my other channel, Theme Park Spark, I talked about a screening we went to of the movie If, and they had these canvas boards of the character Blue from the movie, and that kind of gave me the idea of trying to do something similar at Molly's art party. So we don't have to take them all out, but let's take one out, and these are each they're packaged again. There's more plastic on this. We're gonna have to take all the plastic off. But you can see it's a unicorn and it's already printed on here. So you don't have to figure out how do I draw a unicorn. You just color it. It's like a coloring book, but on canvas. And they're all different pictures. Like here's another one. This one can fly. All different pictures. Um, and it also comes with these little inspiration ideas. So like these little cards that show you how you might want to paint it. You could do it however you want, but there's little inspiration ideas of what it could look like. So you can see kind of like ideas of how to paint the paintings. So like this one, they're like, maybe, maybe you'd want to make it look like this, but you could do it however you want. You could use whatever colors you want. That's just inspiration. Yeah. So I got two types of stickers. This is a, I think a 48 pack or something. There's a crazy amount of sheets in here. I may put one sheet in each goodie bag as well because there's just so many, but it's all these unicorn stickers. And so kids could like decorate with those on here or stick them to their shirt or whatever they want. And then I also got these gem type stickers. So you could stick those like on the canvas. You could make it all sparkly and stick them on there. And then I also, because we need more things, more things to paint than just one little canvas. So I also got these, it was a, I think like a 40 pack. So each kid could have a couple of these of little wooden rainbow unicorn designs. So there's like rainbows and unicorns and they're just these little wooden things that we can paint and stick gems to. And I just thought that'd be kind of fun. We're gonna have party favors, but pretty much the activities at the party are party favors as well. Yeah. So let's put the art supplies back in here. And one thing I love about these the stickers, they are just so cute and beautiful. 
There's only one more thing we need for the art part of the party, and that is art smocks. So each kid, again, this is, I think, a 24-pack art smocks. These aren't, like, the highest quality art smocks, but they're just for a party. It's fine. Kids can take them home with them if they want. Um, and it comes in a variety of colors, which is one thing I like because it's kind of a rainbow unicorn art party. So let's make it colorful. Let's see. I'm thinking Molly probably likes this dark pink. Let me see it. Get it out. I'm trying to get that get it out. out. Yeah. So I can see. Yeah, I want this dark pink because it's magenta. So this one can be yours. You want to try it on? Yeah. See how it fits? I can see there's um there's pockets on this side. So if you want to stick some stickers in there, whatever, stick yeah. it on this side. And then you could like take one of your markers with you. Although I really want the kids to keep the markers on the tables. My mom got this from Dollar Tree. She got one like dinosaur one for Walter and this one for me. And these are gonna, we are gonna use these for homework. We're gonna use these for homework. But the rainbow unicorn one, since it goes with the party, I was thinking maybe the extra canvases, like I said, how we're gonna have too many. We can put the extra ones in here. And then if the kids don't like the one that's where they're sitting, they could go switch it out for another one. Or if one of the parents wants to paint one, they could get one from here. Or someone could just paint two of them, but we might put the extra ones in here. And then I also got these, which match, so which in our playroom, we have a desk where the kids often do art. And I thought this would be really helpful for their markers because after this party's over, we might have a lot of leftover paint pens too. And so um, during the party, since we're gonna have about eight kids at a table that like we're sitting at right now, instead of everyone having to reach across the table and grab some out of here, I might take some of these and just like, put them in here and then we can like have them on different areas of the table. I got two for each table, two of them like this because honestly these were the only two like this I found. So the other two I just got in other colors to go with like the idea of rainbow. And this is like my favorite color so I might keep this one after the party. And we can spread the art supplies around so it's easy for everyone to get to them. That's all the art stuff. Now it's time for something very exciting and that is backdrops which I feel like you can't have a party without a good backdrop. And you know what? I ordered three. Plus I have a couple banners that say like happy birthday and be magical. So let's get this party started. This is one that Molly didn't want me to order, but I ordered it anyway. Come on, mom, why couldn't I'll you- I'll show you that one last. I ordered the one you wanted to. This one is the one Molly really wanted. I'm gonna stand back here and hold it up. Unicorn? This is actually a tapestry, so it's fabric. It's like, feels like cotton. Feel how soft that is. Wow, it it's kind not, of feels like sheets. Yeah, it feels like a sheet. All right, you ready? Yeah. <gasps> Yay, it's so adorable. Don't you, don't you guys just love that cute, adorable unicorn? So I'm totally just gonna stand here during the whole party and hold this, I'm kidding. I'm gonna put it on a backdrop stand right here, I think. This one I believe is a rainbow. This is not a tapestry, it feels a little stiffer. See how stiff this one feels? I like the tapestry because it feels like a sheet. This one is more of a normal stiff type backdrop. It's not thin plastic or anything though. It's still fabric, it's just stiffer. Ooh. Wow. Holy moly. Maybe we should put this one here. Here's the one Molly didn't want me to order and I ordered anyway. This one is currently out of stock. I didn't want her to order it because it doesn't match the theme. I think it's also fabric. Feel this? Feel how soft it is? It's soft, but I it's like still a don't like it. I might hang it in my office if you don't It's a lot of wolves. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. What do you think? Is that gorgeous? No. I think this is gorgeous. That doesn't match the theme. It's unicorns. Yeah, but not rainbow unicorns. I expect the unicorns. If that is going to my party, I expect rainbow unicorns, not unicorns just boring white. The unicorns have to be rainbow. Do you think that that goes with the unicorn theme? Tell no. us in the comments which backdrop was your favorite. But like and subscribe if you think it's my idea. Cause like my, and subscribe no matter because what. Because I am better. Plus I have a couple more that I've saved from previous years and these are cheap dollar store backdrops. I'll show you. This is a cheap plastic dollar store happy birthday sign that is rainbow colored. So I figure we'll hang this up somewhere because it says happy birthday. If you haven't noticed, none of the backdrops that I ordered that are rainbow unicorn 
say happy birthday on them. And there's a very good reason for that. We're gonna use them to decorate Molly's bedroom after her birthday. But this is happy birthday and I think we could hang this somewhere. For a couple happy birthday banners. This I one. I like this one because it has a unicorn. Wait, wait, stop, they're both unicorn. Please stop, I don't want them to rip. We've had these for a couple of years. I think they may have actually been things that I got for free. Did this come unhooked? This says happy and it looks like it is not hooked to the one that says birthday. But it, the happy birthday. We also have a room that we call our cozy room. It's by our back door. And we may be setting some games up in there. So I might hang up a happy birthday sign in there. This one does not say happy birthday. This one says, it says be magical. And it has a unicorn. We have balloons. Let's get into balloons right now. So this is a number six balloon. If you watched our 99 cent store haul, went before the 99 cent store went out of business, this is one of the things we got. It's a rainbow number six balloon. Cause Molly's turning six. Yeah. So we'll use that for sure. And that's going to be seven. That's how it works, yes. There are eight of these in here, I think. This is a unicorn balloon that should, it's supposed to be able to stand up on its own. So we'll have to blow these up and show you what they look like. They're really big. We may hang some up. We may set them on tables as decorations. Um, we may hang some so that it looks like they're flying. Wanna know what my favorite color is? Rainbow! Rainbow, yes. And I'm gonna make sandwiches in the shape of unicorns. No, I am! And again, all these things that I got from Amazon will be on my Amazon storefront. I'll create a list there. Okay, and these are gonna be our plates. We got these from the 99 cent store. And we got these um, napkins to go with it. These are balloon stands. You like clip them together and you can make balloon centerpieces out of them. I will do that later. These are unicorn crowns that you can wear. So, and I may also use them just as decorations, but these will be, I think there's a like 30 in here or something. So even the parents could wear them. And these are balloons, oh, pink, purple, um, turquoise that have pictures of rainbows and unicorns on them. These are foil fringe curtains. It was like super inexpensive. And then some more balloons, just in case we need more balloons. Oh, there's the purple streamers. This is all stuff from Target. I placed a Target order to get a few things. We have the purple streamers. And we have, these are cake plates. These are for the cake. And we have our tablecloths that match the cake plates. So the tablecloths could also be used as backdrops. Are you Wait. excited? Yeah, but look at my huge ring. That is a gigantic ring, Molly. All right, so we're putting together the unicorn balloons and they are totally awesome. One thing I didn't know is that the legs are not attached when you get it. So it kind of like, I got a pack of eight and you open up the unicorn and it has like numbers on both sides. So you can see like this one says number two and then there's four legs. So you have to match the numbers. So here's number four. So you see it's like that. And then there's this thing and you have to match the number. So those are both fours and then you hook them in. And then the same on the other side with the legs. So two on each side, obviously. It's the kind of balloon that you inflate with a straw. So you hook the legs in first and then there's a place for the straw. So you put the straw in here and you inflate it that way and it inflates the legs as well. But one thing that's kind of cool is you can adjust the legs. They stand up all by themselves. I'm gonna make one of the, I'm gonna make my other one with like it's leaning over that unicorn. Yeah, so they stand up all by themselves and Walter stand over there so we can see how big they are. Look how big these are. That's a 10 year old boy, that's a unicorn. So they can stand I'm up, they can lay five down. Feet tall. Yeah, you're getting tall. So these are really one big. Orange. I think they're gonna be awesome during the party. But I would highly recommend these so far. We'll see how long they hold air. But I know some things where you inflate them with a straw, it's like weeks, months later and they still have the air in them. Till the next update. I'm in my messy office right now. And as you can probably see, I have a lot of balloons behind me. I am making a balloon banner um, or whatever they're called, like the balloon garland things that you hang up. I've made these for multiple parties and I just wanted to show how easy it is to make them. So there is this tape 
that you get. And really this is all you need. It's not even tape, it's just like this plastic. You know, it's hard to see, I'm trying to put my hand behind it. But there's like a hole right there and you see there's like a bigger hole and a smaller hole. So when you blow a balloon up, you just stick it the knot into the bigger hole and put it into the smaller hole. I'll blow up a balloon and show you how that works. But what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of sort of doing the idea of a rainbow because I'm doing all of those same colors together. So I have pink, I have yellow, I have green and then I'm going to do purple on the end and then I have some blue balloons I'm going to hang up and put somewhere else. You don't need to hire someone to do it. It's super easy. It just takes a little bit of time. Really, that's all. So let me show you how easy this is. It's also really helpful if you're doing something like this to have an electric balloon pump. I've had this for a couple years. I've used it for parties and it's totally worth it. I'll put a link to this on my Amazon storefront and in the description box, you can find that. The pump is a little loud. I was worried it was gonna scare my puppies, but you can see just how fast it inflates. Watch this. <laughs> Done. Some people prefer to have different sizes of balloons. All of mine are the exact same size. Some of them I put a little bit more air in than the others, so they may not look like they're exactly the same size, but they're all the same size balloons. And you can just do whatever works for you. There's really no wrong way. And like I said, it's not hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time. So let me show you how easy it is to hook them on here. So we have this tape that I showed you where there's the hole in it. I think that's probably pretty hard to see, but maybe with my finger behind it, you can kind of see it. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is sometimes depending on the size of your balloons, you might need to skip one of these and like go to the next one. It just depends how chubby your balloons are and um, if there's enough room for them. Sticking it through the fat one, push it down to the small one, and then I'll go on to the next one. Now for this one, I'm gonna skip one of these because they're just too close together. I've been doing about two or three together and then I'll skip one. But again, it just depends on the size of your balloons. If you're doing a balloon bouquet where you're using different, size, different sizes of balloons, then you may just put little ones in between. And then there we go. Added two more. So now I'm gonna do the purple ones and then I'm gonna hang this up downstairs. Back to making balloons. All right, so as you can see, I have a bunch of balloons behind me and I'm about to finish up doing the rest of the balloons. I'm in my office right now. The kids are downstairs in the party room. I'm not gonna show you the party room until it's completely done, although you may get a glimpse of it in a few minutes. I wanted to show you this balloon bouquet kit that I got. It is uh, to make four balloon bouquets. I've already done two of them downstairs. And in the process, there was a little bit of a learning curve, so I thought it was worth explaining. I'm gonna link to this product in my Amazon storefront and I'll include that in the description box. But if you happen to buy this for a party, I would recommend it. It seems like it's decent quality and I like the way it looks, but it took me a minute to figure out how to use it because there are no directions in the box. I had to go back to Amazon and read the directions in the pictures. There are pictures that tell you what to do and then I was able to figure out what to do. It includes these clear stands. They're clear. And so each clear stand, it has room for seven balloon holders. They come uh, together like this with rubber band around it. These are the things that the balloons will hook to and they hook onto these. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But I didn't understand what these were for until I went back and read the directions. For each balloon stand, you have um, six small ones and one big one. The big one will go in the middle. One thing that I saw in the reviews is that these plastic pieces can break if you push too hard on them. So I'm not pushing too hard on them. I'm just pushing hard enough to snap them into place. So I have all of these and you get in each bundle, there's two long ones and we're gonna hook those together. You also get this and there's one, two, three small ones and one big one. So we're gonna unhook the big one and you push one end in here and one and the other one here to make it taller. Now, you don't necessarily have to push it all the way together because you don't want these to snap or crack. So I'm going to put that in the middle and that's the first one. For each balloon stand, besides the really big one, you get three of these shorter ones and six of these longer ones that are thinner. For three of the longer ones, we're just gonna stick in the balloon stand the way it is. And I'm gonna do every other one because there's six of them and we're gonna alternate. 
So I'll do one and then skip one and then one and then skip one. So it just hit, fits right in here. But like I said, you don't have to push all the way, just enough so that it'll stay. You don't want it to crack. Now we have three each of the shorter ones and the longer ones, and we're gonna hook these together like we did with the big one, except we're gonna use these little ones. So I'm gonna unhook these from each other. So it's really easy to do just without directions. It wasn't necessarily intuitive for me. So put one end in here of this little one, and then we're gonna hook it to a shorter one. Now you could probably set these up differently if you wanted them to be different heights than the way it's recommended, but it's entirely up to you. It really just depends on what's gonna work with your design. So this is hooked together, and I didn't press all the way because I don't want them to crack. So now this one is taller than the ones that are just on here. So I'm gonna put those in the ones that I skipped. That way every other one is a little bit taller. So like that. One bad thing about um, balloons is it creates a lot of static. So I have like any sort of dust that happens to be in your house it ends up stuck to the balloon. Definitely dust and vacuum if you can before putting balloons together or else it'll all end up on the balloons. This big one, it fits into the top. So here, you just push that in there. And then I have all these little ones. And these are what are gonna hold the balloons onto them. Let me actually show you um, how a balloon goes in here before attaching it to this. And then you'll be able to see how this works. I've been doing layers. So there's three layers, shorter, middle, and tall. And I've been doing purple, turquoise, and pink. So I'm trying to decide which color I want on top because I've been doing one layer and one color, one layer in the middle and one layer on top. Let me see, I think I'm gonna do the turquoise one on top. So they have pictures of unicorns and rainbows and stuff. Here's one. Here's what another one looks like. I'll include the link to these balloons as well. They're they seem really good. I blew up some yesterday and they still look great. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how it hooks onto this one. I don't know that this is the correct way to do it, but this is how I'm doing it. I think what they want you to do is push this whole little part where you tie it through here, but I can't do that. So what I'm doing is just pulling it through one of these holes and then hooking it on. There's like a little hook right here. I'm hooking it through there. And that seems to be staying pretty well. So anyway, there's that one hooked on and you can see it just snaps in place. For the smaller ones, let me show you how a balloon hooks on there. So here's a pink one. You can see the pretty unicorn on here. So it has three little sections in it and we're just gonna put the knot through one of those. So if you can see this in the section there and then you have the knot here and I'm going to pull it over like that and put it into another one so it ends up on the inside like that and then they're also suggesting securing that with a glue dot i haven't done that yet and it seems like they've stayed and i'd suggest going from the top down because it's going from the middle out and that just seems to be easier if you can see i'm going to snap the rest of these onto my stand so i think i'm going to do purple in the middle and just like the one that I put on here, I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna do it with, um, with them already stuck on the sticks. I also suggest if you have balloons with pictures on them, try to have the picture facing out, obviously, which you can do that by like just lining it up correctly when you put it on here. But these are also pretty easy to just like twist it a little bit, and then you can get the picture exactly where you want it. Just like anything with balloons, it doesn't take it isn't hard, it just takes a little bit of time. All right, and there's what it looks like when it's all put together. You can see the finished balloon stand behind me, and that's one of, I have two of them back there. I'm gonna bring those downstairs in a minute. All right, now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do for party favors. So I have several things, a couple from Amazon and some from our 99 cent store haul that we did. You can find that video, I'll put it in the description box. I got, these unicorn fruit snacks at Dollar Tree. It looks like a little unicorn face. And also from the 99 cent store haul that we did, we got these little unicorn poppet toys. There, let me open one of these up. So we have these. So you could hook that to a backpack or something, which I know kids like to do sometimes and pop it. So we have those. And then also, we have these little bouncy balls that are colorful. That's from the 99 cent store haul as well. And these little tops. 
which are colorful as well, which are also from the 99 cent store haul. Then I ordered a couple things last minute from Amazon and one of them I'm thinking would be perfect as a party favor since this is a unicorn art party. And this is a unicorn you can paint and it's supposed to come in its own little kit. So I'm gonna open it up and see. It's a painting kit that's supposed to come with a unicorn, three colors of paint, pink, blue, and yellow, and a paintbrush. So I'm not gonna open up the kits because these are gonna be party favors, but I'm gonna open up the box and see what the kits look like. Oh, let's see what it says on the back. Oh yeah, it shows, um, so there's 16 bags, 16 unicorns, 16 sets of paint, 16 paint brushes, and a user manual. So this should be a perfect party favor. Really that alone would probably be a good party favor, but if it all fits in the party favor bag, then we'll include everything I just showed you. Woo, oh my gosh, this would be a good party favor just the way it is, or maybe a painting activity but I think this would be perfect. And it's a nice size bag. I see, I can feel the little unicorn in there. It's little, but um, I think that would be good. That'll be a perfect party favor for this party. Then the kids can take the fun of the unicorn art party home with them. We have so many sticker sheets. Every kid's going home with a sticker sheet. And then um, let me show you the bags that I got. These unicorn bags. I had some that kind of just looked rainbow and Molly didn't think that was good enough. So hopefully she likes these unicorn ones. Let me put a bag together and see if everything fits. So we have this, put one of these in it. And this was a box of 16, which is perfect because I need enough for 16 guests. So we have that, which actually about fills the whole thing. And then pop it, which actually I might use this to seal the bag. I might hang this down from the front. So I don't think I'm gonna put that in it right now. One of the tops, Let's get one of those out here, this pretty purple one, drop that in the bag. And then one of these bouncy balls. I'm gonna have to be careful not to get these on the floor because I don't want the puppies to get the bouncy balls. Bouncy ball. Okay. Can't forget about a sticker sheet. Put a sticker sheet in here. You can kind of see a glimpse of the decorations behind me. And then I'm gonna use this to seal the bag with a little metal through it. And then that should help keep it closed. So there we have it, one of our party favors. I think that looks really good. So let me show you um, everything that's going in them. Unicorn bag, painting kit. These are both from Amazon. I will put the links in the description box. And the stickers are also from Amazon. I'll include that in the description box as well. And then I have fruit snacks from Dollar Tree and only one top. Top, ball, and this unicorn poppet are all from the 99 cent store, which no longer exists. So you can't necessarily get these from the 99 cent store, but I'm sure Dollar Tree has similar stuff. So I think that's a good party favor. And especially this, I think that on its own would be a good party favor, but well, it's some extra fun stuff. Right, so you can see a glimpse of the decorations behind me. I'm not gonna show you everything quite yet, but I am gonna show you one thing that I started to do. So in the entrance, I'm gonna put this, I think in the entrance or maybe on the coffee table, it's what's your unicorn name? I found this on Pinterest and kind of modified it a little bit myself. This is an acrylic um, like picture stand that I got years ago, either a Dollar Tree or 99 cent store or someplace like that. So I'm gonna use that to hold that up. And then I got these from Amazon their name tags, which you can write anything on here, but I'm thinking I'm gonna add like, you know, put a couple pens over there and you can write your unicorn name on your name tag, which I think would be super fun. And there are all these bright, colorful colors. I haven't even showed these to Molly yet, but I think she's gonna like them. This is a book that is called Unicorns Are Real. And we might or might not have story time during the party, but I pulled this out because if we do story time, this would be the perfect book. I might have to use Molly's eye mask for this. Um, this is a pin the horn on the unicorn game. And like I said, I got this from a neighbor, so I can't really link to it. But I think this is perfect for the party. That's where the horn is supposed to go. And the horns are stickers. Let's see, we have 15. So we have like 30 of them. So each kid could play once or twice. But um, we may have to play this as a specific time. So one kid doesn't go in and just use all the stickers, you know. Um, it might be like, okay, who wants to play pin the horn on the unicorn? And do that first or something. 
And then I have this other game that I got from Amazon when it was on sale. And it's this unicorn game where you throw little balls to try to hit the target on the unicorn. And so it's a little like dartboard. And then we also have like some cornhole bag, bag toss games that we got from Amazon like a couple years ago. I'll see if I can find the link for that and include that as well. They're really good, they're solid wood. Um, and we found some little stuffed ponies that we're going to use instead of bean bags. So we're gonna have all the games in a separate room. This is gonna be the art room. We have the TV in here. We're gonna be playing some unicorn music. I made a unicorn birthday party playlist. I can add the link to that in the description box as well. So if you're having a unicorn party, you don't have to do the work I did and search unicorn music and listen to the music with your kids and decide what songs you like. So it's a lot of My Little Pony, Unicorn Academy, and just some other random songs. There's one song on the playlist that's called Pink Fluffy Unicorns Dancing on Rainbows that my son really likes. My 10 year old boy said this is his new favorite song. Pink Fluffy Unicorns Dancing on Rainbows. Adrian Check it out. It's not what it seems. We need to go pick up the cake from Costco and I need to get some other food ready for the party. This is from Burlington as well and there are marshmallows that are banana, strawberry, and vanilla flavored, but we are going to call them unicorn poop. And then these we got at Costco. Walter and I also saw them at Five Below in a smaller size box. These little cones. And I think they look like unicorn horns. So we're going to call them unicorn horns. All right, so it is the night before Molly's party. And Walter is busy over here helping me in the kitchen. He is getting fruit ready for our fruit salad. So our kitchen's a little bit of a mess right now because we're getting food ready. We're not gonna put the food out until tomorrow because the party is tomorrow. Half of my work is wasted because look at that. That was miserable. Oh, I accidentally bought red seeded grapes instead of seedless. So these made me trash. Why would anyone want seeded grapes? Seeded, seeded, <laughs> Who, like tell me. Tell me in the comments, if you buy seeded grapes, please explain. I would really love to understand it. Walter is over here making, um, getting fruit ready for the fruit salad. Apparently the green grapes are really good. We're gonna do the colors of the rainbow. So I got, um, my husband's gonna go get some more purple grapes, but the- Like dry one, it's so good. Mmm, pretty good. I got these at Walmart. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, I also had a few impulse, impulse buys. I thought these looked kind of uh, rainbow-ish color. They're yogurt dipped pretzels. And then I got these mini donuts. Our party starts at 10 in the morning and I thought these would be kind of fun and colorful and you know, just like, like help breakfast food. Up. Cause it's like brunch. And help you wake up. And just yeah. Like, we're, in, we're not gonna give them. And then in our so refrigerator, this is our Costco cake. I'll show you that more tomorrow. We also got these wraps from Costco. We'll put those out. I want to eat Walter them Walter loves these. I if no one them. eats them, he would eat them all. I got two things of Frappuccino. They both have 15 in them. And I got mocha and I got vanilla. I so the adults can have their coffee in the morning if they haven't already. I don't know why. That includes me. I can have more coffee. You don't need any more coffee. You're okay. crazy enough. You don't need to wake up anymore. You're crazy. So, so <laughs> thanks Walter. Come with me back to the refrigerator. I don't usually do refrigerator tours, but almost everything in our refrigerator is for the party right now. It's crazy. We I got don't... this variety pack of cheese, which we usually get anyway and just always have. It's always good. I mean, like, no one really cares. It's just good. I love them all. Yeah. And then we got um, the Italian dry salami and the pepper salami. I love And pepper. I'm gonna use, so all of these to make a rainbow shape um, on like a, um, a tray board. or a cutting board, like a wooden uh, cheese board. So this, 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 and then, this and then crackers. And I got these fancy crackers from Walmart. Like it was the fanciest I could find. I really, I'm just like, I want fancy crackers. Oh, I don't want right red. Had those before. These are from Amazon. I got a three pack. I don't know why we amazing? had them, but like, I'm either gonna put donuts on so them good. or some sandwiches that I'm about to make. This is from Costco. I got this buttermilk bread, Nutella. Tanella. Or are we buttermilk bread? Yum yum bread. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> bread. Maybe go upstairs and look. I should probably just pause the camera. No, don't pause it. I don't know. Weep.
Tanella. Bread, 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 bread. No, Tanella. Tanella. Bread, 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 bread. Bread, 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 bread. Bread, 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 bread. 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 Mom, when you watch the video later, it's gonna be awesome. Great, that, I think Walter may have just made a short. Maybe. I'm looking for unicorn sprinkles, do you see them? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sprinkles. These are from just the grocery store. Um, they have some unicorns and just like some like dust, which actually might work best for I'm this. I'm gonna eat it. Okay, it's right here. Okay, this is also from Amazon. It's a unicorn shaped cookie cutter. I'm gonna wash that real quick and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. So for this sandwich project, you're gonna need for each sandwich, two pieces of bread, obviously. Bread! And Nutella and some sprinkles. Okay. I'm gonna use a rainbow knife to do this because rainbows yeah, cool. are awesome. But I'm gonna cut a unicorn shape out of each piece of bread. I wanna eat the crust. You wanna eat the crust? Yeah. Yours is not the best. So there's our unicorn. That looks and really good. two things that you could do. One, you could put it on top of another piece. Put like whatever kind of sandwich fillings you want in there. And it's going to have the shape of a unicorn. Unicorn sandwich. What I was going to do is just actually make a unicorn shaped sandwich. Walter, which do you think is a better idea? Bread. Anything with bread now, is a good idea. Now, one thing I'm finding a little bit hard with this is it is a plastic um, cookie cutter, meaning like it's not metal, it's not all that sharp. So we have our unicorns. Yum, yum. Okay, Walter. I wanna eat them. Have some bread. And then, if you can't already tell what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the Nutella. Yum, bread. Molly really wanted brownies for dinner. It's our movie night. She wanted brownies. Well, she can have a Nutella unicorn. So you could put some sprinkles in the middle, but I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna use these sprinkles that I already have open because this isn't even for the party. And I'm just testing that. So I'm gonna put them in the plate. And then where the Nutella's coming out the side, I can like dip it to make it rainbow unicorn. Rainbow unicorn sandwich. What do you think, cute? I think this will be cute for the party and it'll be good for kids. Should I give a preview of the party room or should I wait until tomorrow? Uh, until tomorrow. tomorrow. It's the day of Molly's party. You have your birthday girl shirt on? Yeah, look. Nice. And we added a little bit of fun to her hair. Let me see her hair. Ooh, color. She didn't go crazy with color. There were a whole bunch of colors, all the rainbows, but we have pink, two kinds of pink and purple in her hair. And I wanted to show you how we did that. So I bought this from Amazon. It's called um, I'm gonna show you how, I, how you pronounce the brand name, but they're colorful hair pieces. It came in a pack of 24 of them, and there's all different colors. We could use this for crazy hair day at school or other fun things. And let me see one of them. Oh, I want you to show this one because this is kind of my favorite purple pink. Yeah, we have one of those in your hair, I think. It came with um, 24 of them. There's 12 different colors, two of each color. And if you can see right here, it's a little, um, that, well, they come pre-packaged in plastic, so it keeps them all nice. And there's a little like comb and clip, and you just go like that, hook the hair in it, clip it back, and you're all done. And then it's beautiful. You want to try to put it under the hair a little bit so it looks natural. And yeah, as natural as pink and purple streaks in your hair can be, right? All right, now we're going to get started on food. food. And look. There's right. marshmallows and donuts, more donuts, and these are cream, but we're using them as ice cream cones. I, these are like pretzels. They're unicorn things. horns. They're cream filled cream cones, cream but we're going to say they're unicorn horns. Yeah, but I have no clue what these are. They're, Mom, yogurt -covered, what? they're yogurt covered pretzels. Wow, that looks so yummy. Yeah, and I organized all of the chips kind of in rainbow and colors, I'm red, orange, yellow. Um, there's no green, blue, and then I, you know, black because I just didn't have any other colors. So did you roughly. know that Lay's is my favorite chip? Yeah, and Doritos are Walters. All right, one more thing I wanted to show you is I made some um, labels for things. Like I put on the water unicorn tears, 
And I have unicorn horns that I'll put on the tray where we put the cones. And this is some cardstock. It's from Amazon. It's like a pack of a hundred and it works really well. It's nice and thick, thicker than normal paper, but not too thick. I just print it out at home. And um, here's unicorn poop. That's gonna be for the uh, marshmallows. But I just used Canva to make these designs. If you don't have Canva, it works really well. It's so easy. I use it to make my thumbnails too. I just really like Canva. I was hesitant to pay for any sort of um, software, but it's so worth it and it's so much fun. I can smell the marshmallows already. Yay, okay, so what do we have left to do? We have to get the food ready and get the games ready. I'll give you a full tour of the party as soon as we get all the food and everything set up, but we need to get that done first. I want to do the tour. Okay, we will. I'll take the camera and you can show us around. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you the grand tour of Molly's party. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Molly's sixth birthday party. Okay, Molly, would you like to show us around the party? Yeah. Okay, so we're right. So right here is where everyone's gonna start the paintings. Yeah, let's and, look at the painting tables. Yeah. So we have uh, everyone set up with a canvas and two little cutouts and some stickers with pens and uh, stickers, more stickers all throughout. And over here, Walter and Molly wrote their names on their canvases so that no one will take the ones that they picked out. So Molly decided she wants to sit right here. Yeah. Okay, and then we have another table over here that is all set up as well with our supplies for everyone. I think we have 17 kids coming to the party. While we're over here, I'm gonna show you the cake real quick. Molly, I don't know if you've seen this, I added some unicorns to our Costco cake. No, I have not, but it looks adorable. I got a whole box of these little unicorns from Amazon. It is adorable. And then we have some balloon bouquets that we made, a huge backdrop with unicorns flying, happy sixth birthday, Molly, and the number six for the cake. And then another backdrop over here with more unicorns. And we're trying to make this look like clouds. Oh, and don't forget about this wall. Look at our beautiful balloon garland that I made. These balloons, I kind of tried to make it like a rainbow, the four different colors. I showed you how I made the garland. And we added a Pegasus flying. And then these balloons, except for the silver ones, the blue ones, came in this same bag. There's Walter. He uh -huh. made the rainbow charcuterie board. I did those. And he got I all did. the, he got the donuts out for us and this was an impulse buy at Walmart. I did that. We have extra canvases here for people. And also in the entrance right here, we're gonna give everyone an art smock. They can pick out what color they want. All right, let's go to the food. We yeah, have I'll a, show you where the food is. We have a rainbow no, no, unicorn no. Uh, happy birthday so, playlist going. This is the food court. This I is the food. I did that, I did that, and I did that. Yeah, so, so we So mom kind of rearranged it. We start over here with plates and everything and some chips. And we have... Unicorn beers. We have, these are unicorn from Costco. Walter made this. Rainbow unicorn charcuterie. Isn't it gorgeous? It's fantastic. And this yeah, is this is from Tupperware, this container. Um, fruit dip, and then all the colors of the rainbow. Red, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then these are our unicorn horns. Molly helped make these. She cut out all the unicorns for the unicorn Nutella sandwiches, which I made right there. And unicorn dookie. Unicorn poop. Over here we have some cooler bags filled with juice and frappuccinos for the grown-ups okay. and the happy birthday banner um streamers that i added up here i just made the table pink and we added the pink tinsel over here for with flying unicorns okay let's take me to the game room okay, this this is a tablecloth let's stop right here so when people first come in we're going to have them take their shoes off get an art smock from over there and have their Name, what's your unicorn name? Mine is Golden Sky Dancer, so I will need to put my name tag on. We'll give everyone a name tag. Mine is Starry River Lily. Yeah, and then That's we have me. these unicorn hats for the kids to wear. And Dad's is the funniest thing ever. Dad's is like Darling, Darling, what was it? Darling Pixie Duster. Darling. And then these are our party favors. Molly already had this container. Um, I don't remember where we got it. It Easter was Bunny. from the Easter Bunny. Yeah, okay. And then the bags of the party favors are in here, so everyone will get one of those before they leave. Now take me to the game room. Here we go. 
we got Here we have pin the horn and unicorn. We have hopscotch. We have hopscotch. And then we have what I did. We have throwing balls at the unicorn. That's a little sus. Let's just take it. And then over here we have these cornhole games that I think are from Amazon. You can add a link to those as well. And we're gonna be throwing unicorns at them. Let's see how hard it is. I'm doing this left-handed. It's hard left-handed. I'm gonna try to do it on my right hand. So, and then oh, I, I got one in! You got one in? Oh, do it again. Yeah, yeah, I got one in. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, 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 Birthday girl magic. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So I didn't add as many decorations in this room, but I added a few to add some magic. Let's see, do we like it better with the light on or off? Off, on. We could probably put the disco ball in here if we... I, I thought about that, but we'd have to shut all the shutters. I think the kids might be making it dark in here so we can bring in our disco ball light. All right, kids, you wanna, is this a party room now? Is this a dance room? Yeah, this is the dancing game. Room. Do you wanna dance? Yeah! I don't know if it would be better if we have it pointed down on the floor, like over here. What do you think? Okay, we're going to go with that. That looks magical. I need to show you something that I can do. Ready? Yeah, real quick. Awesome! Let's get ready for your guests. If you want to put some music on, you can. Yay! Molly, are you super excited about your birthday party? Yeah! Okay, the guests should be here any minute. Yay! Oh, I see someone's here. Yay! We had games set up in one room as we showed you and art set up in this room. And when people came in, we showed them where the games were, where the art was and where the food was. We got them their unicorn name tag and their art smock and their unicorn hat and or their unicorn headband, whatever you want to call it. And in general, everyone just did what they wanted when they wanted. We had the unicorn playlist I made playing on the TV. Uh, it was a YouTube playlist that I will add the link to that in the description box. But there were a couple games that we did at specific times. So we did freeze dance and pin the horn on the unicorn. One of Molly's guests actually got it correctly, directly on the horn, it was really impressive. And then after that, we did um, a group picture of all the kids. We had everyone sit at the table here and in front and over by the fireplace. And then we could get like a group picture of everyone. And then we went back here to sing happy birthday to Molly and cut the cake. Have her blow out the candles and sing happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Molly! Yay! So this is the aftermath of the party. Molly is playing with her new toys. She got a bunch of awesome toys. She hasn't quite opened them all yet. Walter's sweeping up confetti that came out of Polly Pocket. Molly, you need, well, Mom, Molly, whoever does this out needs to. Oh my gosh. Rainbow. Yeah, I know. That's what I did. You did that? That's funny. How did you like your birthday party? I loved it. Was it fun having all your friends over? Yeah. What was your favorite part of your party? Um, doing the cake. The cake? Yeah. What was your favorite party food? Um, the Nutella sandwiches. The Nutella sandwiches. Awesome. One thing to keep in mind is when you pick a party theme, a lot of your guests might get you a gift that goes along with a party theme. For example, when my son had a Lego themed birthday party, most of his gifts were Lego sets and he was perfectly fine with that. So if you're gonna have a unicorn themed birthday party, you just might get a lot of unicorn toys and t-shirts and crafts. She's gotten so much unicorn stuff, it's fantastic. So these are some of her gifts. She has some really cool gifts. One thing I wanna say is that these markers that we got, the paint pens, they worked really, really well. They're super easy to use. They dry super fast. I would highly recommend these. I know we're gonna use them until they're gone and probably get more, but that might take a while because we have a lot left over. So um, here's one of the paintings that Molly did. It's super cute. While Molly was opening her gifts, I painted this one and added some little gems to it and that, was super easy. I just, you know, it's really easy. It's like using crayons or regular markers, except it goes on smoother because it's paint. And the little gems, a lot of people were painting them on their face and stuff, which is super fun. It was a really good party. I would highly recommend a unicorn art party for anyone who loves unicorns and art. Please let me know in the comments if you found these tips helpful and what ideas you liked or what you might try yourself. And if you need any more advice about any of those things, such as unicorn party food ideas 
or how to make a balloon garland or anything else. You know, if there's something that um, you wanna know where to find, like if you saw something here and you're like, where do I find the, the balloons that you ordered or whatever. And I will also include links to these in my Amazon storefront and in the description box, you can find that. Thanks for coming to my birthday party. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified about upcoming videos about more fun things to do, such as parties, food, and unboxings. See you next time. Bye.